Glad you used to. Okay, I can just talk about it. Um, so for eShell, which I contribute to, um, I've been using uh, ERT to, to like write unit tests, and it's surprisingly lightweight. Um, surprisingly, as if every Emacs package is terrible. Um, but ERT, I like it a lot. Um, and I used it before for uh, defining like very simple tests and doing like test-driven development with eShell. Um, and I recommend it. And that's what's used in uh, like as the official Emacs um, like testing library. And there are a bunch of tests that are included with the Emacs sources. Uh, that you can find, and that's where I would start if you wanted to write tests. So, um, yes? So there's the site called Exorcism, I don't know if you've heard of it. Exorcism. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-M dot I-O. Sounds weird. So what they do is, uh, it's, it's actually on GitHub, for a variety of languages, including ELISP and Python C and so on, they have different coding projects that come with Project description and then the test name. And then you kind of you solve the problem, make sure to pass the test, and post it to people review your code and so on. Yeah. So this is actually I was learning ERT because all the ELIS projects come with ERT tests. So that would be one way cool. you can learn it gradually. So you're talking about so the site is exorcism.io yeah. and it's just a site with where you can like write like well, unit it's, tests. It's so they, they have that yeah. You fetch kind of the next exercise, like if you're learning e -list, Oh, you okay. It, you solve it, and then you kind of submit your solution. It goes to the site. Yeah. And then people can review your code, and you can iterate on your solution. And yeah. It. And so it's like a um, like a programming problems practice yeah. type of site. And it has like an e-list section? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, 